I'm a huge fan of Mexican silver coins. I really love all the different types and designs, and they're a huge part of my silver stack. So let's take a look at some of the coins from Mexico that I like to collect. Stay tuned. All right, so here is the majority of my Mexican silver coin collection. I also have some smaller circulated Mexican coins, uh, silver ones that I have in flips and they're in a folder. We'll take a look at those briefly in just a moment. Uh, I'm also including all of the Libertads, the Mexican silver bullion, just because I think that's amazing and it does fit well with this collection. But I'm also including something that is not Mexican. These are Panamanian Balboas from Panama and they uh, they live in this collection, kind of. So I just figured I would show these off as well because I love this design. The Panama Balboa. This one's got some really dark toning. It's actually kind of hard to see. But I have some proof ones as well. Here's a nice little proof Balboa. These are the Un Balboas. So this is their crown size coin. Basically, their silver dollar. And they are 90% silver. And they are really cool. This proof here has some really awesome toning. So they, uh, they live in one of the tubes that I keep some of these other coins in. So I figured I'd just show them off in this video. But we are mainly talking about Mexican silver coins, mostly the circulated coins throughout the years. Uh, I am going to show you off some of my Libertads because they are awesome. Uh, of course, we have the most modern design here which uh, depicts the Statue of the Winged Victory. Really beautiful one ounce bullion coin. I mean, they're very popular. They carry quite a high premium. Uh, here's a really awesome toned one. The toning on this 2006 is just outstanding. Probably one of my favorite collection uh, coins in this collection. Uh, we also have some proofs, which are really beautiful. Here's a 2020 one ounce proof. Just a gorgeous looking coin. We also have a half ounce proof here. And also a quarter ounce proof. Very nice piece. And then I also have all different fractional and larger sized bullion as well. Here's a five ounce from 2020. And of course the design looks so good in this larger sized coin. This is five troy ounces of silver from 2020, and the detail and intricacy of the design on the large coin just looks amazing. Almost has a little bit of high relief. Really, really cool. Also have a two ounce from 2020. I love the larger size coins, uh, but of course I do stack a lot of the one ounce bullion. That I also have quite a few of the previous design and here, this is a 1982, and that's the first year this design started. Really beautiful. A little bit different perspective of the Statue of Winged Victory. Uh, some people call these onzas because they do say one onza, which is one ounce of plata pura, which is pure silver. Three nines fine, one troy ounce. I have a whole tube of those uh, design. And also in between these two designs, uh, in the 90s, they did have this design, which is slightly different. Uh, the font got a little bit smaller. And I actually like this design really, you know, I, I really like this one a lot. Because something about that just looks so, just so perfect. <laughs> I really like those. So, of course, we have lots of the Libertads. I have some brand new ones here. These are 2020. I'm looking forward to 2022. Libertad's coming up uh, next year, and I just, I love stacking these coins, you know, especially when I can find them for decent deals. Like I said, they do carry quite a high premium, but I stack many of the Libertad's, um, but mainly today, we're going to take a look at some of these really cool coins uh, from Mexico that are more of their circulated silver coins throughout the years. So one of my favorite designs here is this one. These were made in 1947 and 1948. They're 30 grams of 90% silver. And you see really, really awesome design. 
I'm a huge fan of these. I do have a handful of these in my collection. Here's a 1947. So I love that design, very iconic. Uh, they did also make uh, more modern coins uh, in Mexico with that same design. And now you can also see that same design on some of more modern generic bullion. So really, really cool, iconic design. Uh, also, we have these here. Uh, these are known as the Hildagos because there is a big portrait of Hildago. And it's kind of a kind of a plain looking coin, but still pretty cool. And here it tells you the weight and the purity. So the purity did drop. These are 72% silver. And this is from 1959. I'm sorry, 1952. Um, and these are just really, really nice. It is Cinco Pesos. So a five pesos denomination. So these are pretty cool. I have a handful of those in my collection. Then we also have some over here. I have a whole bunch of these ones. These are Cien Pesos from 1978. 20 grams of 72% uh, 72 fine silver. Kind of a cool looking design. A little bit more modern uh, depiction of the eagle. Or actually more of like a, a 70s depiction of the eagle, I would say. So really, really cool looking coin here. I believe that is Jose Morales on the uh, obverse here. So that's a really cool design. We also have this design here, which is the Olympic commemorative from 1968. And there was a lot of crazy stuff going on in Mexico uh, during this time uh, with the Olympics. So there's a, a lot of stuff you know, kind of darker history behind these coins, but they're also 72% silver. And this is a 25 pesos, 25 pesos. Really, really cool. Pretty cool looking design, a little bit different. We also have, I should have mentioned this earlier. This is one of their, technically a bullion coin. Uh, it's, this is from 1980. So basically they had this design before they came out with these Libertad designs. And this is what you would probably consider the original Libertad because it is um, basically an ounce of silver, but it's a little weird because it's 925. So it's sterling silver, but it's 33 point, what is that, 825 grams, which basically comes out to be one troy ounce. So pretty cool. I like that design, um, you know, kind of different with the coin press. Uh, this is kind of an interesting little case that this one came in. Another one of these uh, 1968 Olympic commemoratives, but it's in kind of a cool little capsule there. So that was kind of interesting. I have this little tiny fractional one-tenth of an ounce from 1987 with the coin press on there. Kind of different. And then on this side it has the oil lamp. And it says the American Numismatic Association, which I'm not exactly sure the story behind this coin. I don't know if it's technically a coin or maybe a commemorative or some type of token, but it is one tenth ounce of three nines fine silver. So we went through a lot of these circulated larger size coins, but then I also have all of those, which are some of my favorite silver coins to buy, mainly because they're like two bucks a piece usually. You can get these for very inexpensive, and these are the Jose Morales Un Peso. And these were in like the late 50s and 60s. Here's a 1965, and these are extremely low purity silver. They're only 10% silver, but I think they're really cool. Uh, I don't know, something about them makes me feel like they're uh, some kind of like pirate treasure coin or something. I don't know. They're really nothing fancy, but I think they're really cool. They do have edge lettering. Let's see if we can find a better example. Here's one that's more uncirculated with some crazy purple toning. This was a really cool one. 
but it does say independencia, independence, e, and libertad, liberty. So really, really cool. Love the edge lettering. Love the design. The eagle looks awesome. They look really good in this uncirculated condition, but I think they even look pretty cool in this toned up kind of dirty condition as well. Something about them. They're just, they're just fun. I collect them uh, mainly because they're very inexpensive. And as you see, I have a whole bunch. I actually have more. This is just what I broke out. So this is mainly all the larger size coins in my Mexican silver. Uh, I didn't mention before, but here we got a full tube of 2020 Libertads. So some more bullion, lots of bullion, and a handful of the circulated uh, silver coinage. Some of them are uncirculated, but these are coins that were used in circulation, uh, you know, for everyday transactions in Mexico throughout the years. So I do have a handful more of smaller coins, and they're in flips in a folder. Let's take a quick look. Stay tuned. All right, so I also have this binder where I keep all of my world silver coins, and I have a bunch of Mexican stuff in here as well. So we have a, uh, another one of those 25 pesos Olympic commemoratives. We have three of the earlier un pesos with the Liberty cap and rays. Really beautiful designs. This one's in great shape. Really, really cool. We also have a 1947 one peso. Those are low purity, 50%. Kind of a cool looking design though as well as a 1950 one peso, also with Jose Morales on there. And then we have a bunch of these, uh, oh nope, that's the next page, so let's see here. We have a 50 centavos, and these are really cool looking coins as well, kind of similar to these un pesos. Here's a, uh, let's see, another 50 centavos, and they went down from 720 to 50%. A little bit different of a design there. Pretty cool. And what else here? We have some of the 25 centavos. Those are really cool. Only 30% silver. Here have an early 10 centavos, which is 80% silver. And then I also have this even earlier half real from Mexico, really, really cool, 90% silver. So a bunch of really cool looking stuff here. And then of course, the next page, we have a bunch more of those 10% silver, un pesos. And these ones just have really cool toning. So I ended up putting these in flips. I don't know if you could see that here on the camera but there's like amazing rainbow toning on some of these. And then some of them are just more like uncirculated condition. Really, really cool. Look at the rainbow on this one. So definitely love those coins. I really like all the Mexican silver. Um, just on a side note, we talked about Balboas earlier. So I do have a handful of silver Balboas, uh, the one-tenth Balboas, and quarter Balboas, and then I actually have a whole tube of half Balboas, but we're mainly talking today about Mexican silver, which is just so beautiful. It's so much fun to collect. There's all different types of coins, and they're just really cool part of my coin collection and my silver stack, and uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm not the only one that loves Mexican silver coins. They seem to be really, really popular, so you can't go wrong with uh you know with some of these coins and they vary in uh purity you know we saw 90 percent we saw 720 50 percent uh 30 percent 10 percent you know all 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 over the board uh so kind of interesting even 80 percent here in the older dates but they're just a lot of fun to collect and i think they're awesome all right, well, I hope you enjoyed checking out my Mexican silver coin collection. We threw in some of Libertad, 
uh, bullion coins. We also threw in some of these Panamanian Balboas, which are not Mexican coins, but they do live in this collection in my stack. So I hope you enjoy checking out all the different stuff that I like to collect when it comes to Mexican silver. Just some really cool stuff. We went through low purity, 10%, some of the 7, 20%, 90%, and of course, three nines fine. All different really cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy videos all about silver stacking and coin collecting and precious metals, and all that fun stuff. And ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day.